welcome back welcome back to another video and welcome to all of the new subscribers y'all i am so glad you guys are here thank you so much for all the love and support thank you for commenting on the last video it is your girl faith i am a licensed nail tech i've been doing nails for four and a half years now let me mention before we get into this set that all of the products will be listed in the description box below so be sure to check the description box if you're interested in purchasing any of these products but let's get into these nails honey so in the previous clip i showed you that i was using the kiara sky base coat to um cure down these uh hearts on the nails on the thumb the index and the pinky nail I'm going to apply the base coat and then lay down those hearts and then cure them. And then we're going to be moving on um, to placing the acrylic above it. So here's what I found out after doing nails for a while, you know, you just kind of learn, you know, tricks to the trade, especially with acrylic. Now, an easy way to do your ombre and to make them blend seamlessly is to cover like hearts glitters and things like that with a layer of clear acrylic first and this will help just make sure that uh, whatever color that you put above it i'm going to be using the young nails cover i forget <laughs> i'll show it to you on screen but i'm going to be using a cover color right above this and like i said using a thin layer of clear acrylic prior to laying that color will allow the color to lay much more smoothly and i didn't want the colors to like go in between the hearts so that's why um i believe and i do it all the time especially with ombres it's putting down a small um thin layer of clear acrylic poly gel whatever medium you're going to be using will definitely help with the blend if this video is helping consider subscribing to the channel turn on the notification bell to be sure that you're updated every time that i upload a video and i have been posting updates to the channel over on the community tab so be sure that you are going heading over to the channel check the community tab for all the updates we are keeping a consistent schedule of uploading every tuesday and thursday at 6 p.m central standard time which i actually allow the videos to come out at five so if you want to be an early bird and you want to receive a shout out on the next video go ahead and turn on those notification bells so that you are notified every time those videos come out drop your questions or concerns in the comment section below i am pretty good with making sure that i check my comments and respond back as soon as possible over on the community tab i also did a q and a so head on over to the community tab and if you have any actually i did two posts to be honest um one is for q a and you can leave your questions and answer there i will be uh, posting those in the upcoming video um also i did a, another post that said what would you like to see next an updated acrylic or a poly gel head on over there uh, to the uh, community tab like i said or go over on my instagram you can always send me a dm on instagram links for everything will be listed in the description box below so girl just check that out and you can find what you need if i fail to link a product or something like that let me know i'll make sure that i go ahead and go back and add it to the storefront if it's not there but i do my best to try and make sure that i have everything listed so anyway getting back to the design of these nails like i said this is a fairly easy design to do i showed you that i'm actually using the young nails cover flamingo i really like young nails products um, i like how buttery the consistency is with this uh acrylic now I, i'm also using their monomer too so they go hand in hand they work really well uh, with each other you don't have to do a lot of manipulation with the beads which which is awesome once you learn that ratio for their products i promise you they are good but here's the thing now if you're going to be taking clients then it may be a pretty good investment but if you're not going to be taking clients um a to each his own you know they are more on the more pricier side but the quality of products is definitely there so um anyway i like the cover 
flamingo but i was trying to work kind of thin and to me under the lights when i was recording i could see my um nail bed still so i was trying to build up this color also i did not cap this color as it is a cover color so there was no need to cap that part when i do the ombre um i'm going if i need to cap i would cap okay so i'm getting a lot of questions about acrylic and people are saying like acrylic is really hard to use don't give up don't give up just keep practicing with it one day it's just gonna click and it's gonna make sense and if you have any questions like i said let me know and i'll do my best to explain how to do acrylic i did i have an old video on my channel i'll leave it in the upper right hand corner of this video in the eye it is the acrylic ratio and how to do the acrylic ratio based off the product and you have to check with the manufacturer on how to lay these beads um some have a two to one a one to one that would make sense when you go watch this video um i will do an updated video later on but girl i'm trying to find out how i can help you with these videos because it's not just about you guys you watching me do nails i want you to be able to learn we are nail family over here no gatekeeping none of that so when doing um the acrylic ombres so like i'm going to be able to explain it to you here on this pinky nail so remember we laid a really thin layer of clear down so that like the cover color wouldn't seep into the hearts that's because i wanted a nice blend over the hearts i kind of wanted them more so shadowy in the background kind of and that's what i was going for um what you want to do when you're doing um your ombres is work a little bit wetter than you normally would and wetter just means this <laughs> wetter just means that the ratio is going to be a little bit different so if the ratio is a two to one then you're going to go to a one to one means same amount of liquid in the brush and bead size if it's a two to one that means you need twice as much powder than you do liquid if that makes sense i hope that makes sense and i explained that properly um so that's what i like to do and I, like i said i have experience it's been like four and a half years almost and i've been doing acrylic and all of that for a really long time and on a consistent basis too so um one of the comments that i got on the last video was how difficult the acrylic could be like doing acrylic it's only difficult if you stop okay so if you stop practicing it becomes difficult this is a muscle memory thing i remember when i had paused because if you've been following me for a while you know that i actually moved out of state and yeah that was a whole thing you could go back watch the vlogs i got a bunch of playlists on the channel go ahead check those out um but i moved and i stopped doing um acrylic on a consistent basis like every day um if you're going to do it practice 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 it makes progress i don't like to use the word perfect but it makes progress doing nails is fun in two each his own creativity and artistry is a perspective okay it's it's to the artist don't try to do nails like me don't try to do nails like anybody else find your style what works for you sometimes depending on what i'm doing i like to have my nails kind of thick and sometimes i just don't <laughs> it depends on the look and what i'm going for so girl if i'm helping do hit the like button make sure you know support girl support me as i do this because this is definitely keeping me motivated i'm so happy i found a new nail family <laughs> anyway so y'all i've been running my mouth the whole time but i just wanted to say hi to everybody introduce myself for uh, those who don't know me again y'all do me a favor and head on over to the community tab let me know how i can help you what you would like to see i kind of been doing a valentine's day theme uh with the nails there's like a whole little series i tried to get started on that but i'm kind of getting burnt out 
on these um let me jump back to the nails real quick y'all um i'm going to actually finish building up the structure of the nail with clear um on this thumb and that's pretty much the design um, of these nails on the middle in the ring there is going to be a heart like a half heart on both look i tried <laughs> <laughs> but I do like how these nails turned out though I did I tried but I really like how they turned out um I just didn't like too much I was trying to line the hearts up you, you're gonna see I did not show everything um as I decided that I wanted to add micro beads into the design after the fact because I didn't like just the um, um bling by itself to me it looked like it was missing something so i'm gonna go in with my mccart rhinestone glue and just lay down the heart line that up all the nails are going to be shiny um if you have a clear base or a semi-clear like this faded ombre thing don't forget to place top coat under the other side because you want that clear and that clarity to show through that's going to be all for now i'm going to leave you guys to it if the video has been helpful to you go ahead and smash the like button consider subscribing to the channel and i'm going to see you guys in the next video and as always stay safe stay healthy and be blessed I decided to do something fun. Okay, surprise, I'm back. If you made it to this part of the video, go ahead and drop some pink hearts in the comment section. And then I want you to comment, hashtag Madam Glam. I have something special coming up for you, whoever's the first person to comment that wins. Now, don't tell anybody and don't give it away. So stay tuned for the final results and I will let you know in an upcoming video.